Hello, Leah. Hi. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. With a frio. <laughs> Cold. No. Yeah, it's cold today. Mm -hmm. I see Edwin, I see Louis, Jocelyn, and Marlon. Hello, Marlon. Hi, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening, and we have, how are you, Marlon? Uh, good, teacher. Uh, I had a play movie, watch movie, pardon. You're watching a movie. Oh, great. Which movie are you watching? Yeah. Uh, this movie is uh, The Equalizer. Oh, okay. Uh, this is, is Washington. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. A movie I like from Denzel Washington is uh, Man on Fire. That's a good movie. Yeah, yeah. Which, which movie um, is? Uh, Man on Fire. Yeah, see. Yes, I watch movie. It's good, huh? Which movie is? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, movie. which movie is? Man on Fire. Ah, Man on Fire, I'm sorry. Mark Anthony is in that movie, huh? Yeah, yeah, teacher. Yeah, that's a good movie. Yeah, this is a protagonist. And it was a true story, people say. Yeah, uh, this is a reality of life to Mexico. Yeah. Yes, it's true. All right, let me see. I see. Hello, Edwin. What's up? How are you? Uh, what's up, teacher? How are you? I'm okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Um, so you didn't work today? Oh, you had a um, normal day today. I have a normal day today. Uh, uh, basically, um, I just came to my house. Like, ha, ha. <coughs> I'm sorry, but I'm a little bit sick. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Uh, I just came to my house like one hour ago and uh, it was, was it was a great day uh, I'm really sorry but I have been sick from from Sunday and yesterday so no no it's okay be careful have you uh, have you been checked yeah I have been checked it's just uh fluence I, I think in my garganta I don't know how do you say this my throat my troll it's really hard <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay okay I see. yeah but but it's nothing about toby or something Vinti? like that <laughs> okay hope yeah I recommend this you drink tea oh you drink tea yeah oh okay yeah yeah mm -hmm. i i did already thank you thank you for the Wait, recommendation honey. <laughs> I, I already did. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Or tequila. Uh -huh. With honey. Uh -huh. Oh, tequila is better. No, nah, no, nah, just play. <laughs> Teacher, what happened? Well, you know. Teacher, what happened? Have, you, know, ev it, have you ever seen a bolito with fever? No. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you never see a bolito with fever or, or stomach ache or nothing. <laughs> I, I no, you, I have never <laughs> seen a bolito pas, pasando consulta en yeah. la clínica. <laughs> yeah, I never did. It's true. <laughs> it's logic. <laughs> and I, I've seen bolitos like eating food from the street, from garbage, and they don't get sick. Yeah. So you see, <laughs> liquor is the answer. Yeah, poor people. Go yeah, out. poor people. The, 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 mm. I have seen bolitos, like with um, the next day, like shaking, like they, they need alcohol. 
Man, it's very sad. Very sad. You know, yes. there there is a good movie. I think Marlon, you were telling me about watching a movie. I recommend you to watch a movie. It's called Leaving Las Vegas. The handle Las Vegas is with Nicolas Cage. He he won an Oscar for that movie. Man, that movie is really good. It's really good acting. Um, the movie was about Nicolas Cage in the movie. He was fired from his job for drinking too much. Do you understand me? Yes. And this movie is in Netflix? I don't know. I don't know, but you can download it. So oh, okay. he, he started drinking too much. So, and he was mm. a very good employee. And the company said, look, I'm sorry, you are the best, but we can't continue like this. So they fired him and they gave mm. him a very good commission. And his wife divorced him because of his drinking. So this man, he went to Las Vegas his objective, he didn't have a plan. He just wanted to go to Las Vegas and drink until he died. Like he rented a small apartment and every day all he did was drink. And man, this is very, you see the transformation of Nicolas Cage, like, uh, you know, he he can't even sign a check because he was, under the influence of alcohol. It's a very good movie. I recommend you. It's drama. But it's very good. Very, very good movie. If you like Man in Flames. No, Man in, Man in Fire. Yeah, Man on Fire. You will like that movie. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me get the screen. What is that that you sent, Leah, on the chat? Is, is the site when is the living Las Vegas? Oh, you found it already? Yes. Man, you're good. It's the internet. You too. Seriously? Let, let me but check. But I don't know if the open. I don't know oh. if open. Oh yeah, the Osa Las Vegas. Can you open this site? Uh, yes, I think. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um Nicolas Cage won that won the best actor for that movie. Good actor, man. Okay, do you see my screen in this moment? Okay, no problem. No. Okay, you should see it now. Do you see it now? Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, let's listen to this exercise. It says, listen to Stephanie saying Richard is Stephanie says that Richard is what? A geek, a hacker, or a mouse? Barry asks Martha how to play computer games or scan photographs. According to Eva, she uses her computer to play games. Her roommates use her computer a lot or her computer isn't working properly. Heather shows Carlos how to use his new computer to cut and paste, drag and drop a uh, highlight text okay let's do this i'm going to put the listening part this happened to me in the previous class Thank you. 
Did you do this exercise class? Back teacher and then next. Let me see. Please hey, cool. listen to the conversations. Nice. Check the correct answers. Can you hear? One. Yes. Hey, Stephanie. Yes. Have you seen Richard recently? I've left him a few voicemails, yes. but he never calls me back. Is he okay? He never calls me back either, but don't worry about him. He bought a new computer last week. So? So, he spends all day and night on his computer. He's become a total geek. Really? He never used to like computers. Well, he does now. He never goes out and has fun anymore. Two. Hey, Martha, can you come help me? I'm having computer problems. You? But you're such a technophile. You're always surfing the net. Yeah, but I don't know how to do everything. So what's the problem, Barry? Whoa, what are all these photos doing on the table? I'm trying to scan them so I can email them to friends. Oh, scanning is easy. Place the photo here, be sure to put it face down, and then double click on this. That's it? That was easy. Three. Guess what, Eva? I just bought a really cheap plane ticket online. Really? I always go to a travel agent to plan my vacations. Well, you can sometimes get cheaper tickets on the internet. You should browse some websites. You have a computer at home, don't you? Yeah, but I never use it. Why not? What's wrong with it? Nothing. But my roommates are always playing games on it. When I tell them I need to use it, they say they're just going to finish the game, and then it's... Four. How do you like your new computer, Carlos? Actually, Heather, I prefer my old one. Really? Why? There are so many things I can't do. I don't know how to highlight text, drag and drop, or cut and paste. I could do all that on my old computer. And please don't tell me to read the manual. <laughs> Let's take one problem at a time. Okay. I want to highlight those two words. Just use your mouse, like this and then press this key here. That was easy. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, what did Stephanie say Richard is? A git. Geek. 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 Do you know what is a geek? No. Geek is a nerd. Oh. People, who is this? Uh, the a uh, person who is smart. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can say he's a computer geek. He is a book geek. He is a math geek. Okay. Barry asks Martha how to. Scam photograph. It's good. According to Eva. Her roommate, roommates. roommates. Her roommates use her computer a lot. Okay. Her roommates. Okay, number four. Heather shows Carlos how to use his new computer too. I like text. I like text. I like text. All right, I got a 20 out of 20. Nice. Sure. I, I have problem in the first the the uh, the medium the medium tree example medium the first I have problem this one the uh, me, medium ex examen intermedio intermediate intermediate new term when did you have problems it's um ordinary the words the the word in the question. But what was the problem? 
Um, no, uh, is that a... Uh, it, the... it was a technical problem? Uh -huh. uh, uh, no, no. Um, is uh, uh, the tree in, in Union Tree? I don't know where we are. No, it's um, give me a minute. Medium, medium, review, medium. Where is it? the world? Eight, where, eight, eight. Where is medium? Eight, eight. Oh, see, we didn't say eight, numeral eight. Eight, where is eight? Eight. Eight. A as an apple? Yeah. So it's not numeral eight, it's letter A. A letter, letter A, okay. Yeah. Okay. Letter A. No problem, let's see. We did this yesterday. No, 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 teacher. Excuse me. It's not, not the problem. The middle term uh, missing a lot of. Where is teacher. middle term? I don't, I don't yeah, see mid middle term. Mid term. Final exam. Middle term. Uh huh. No missing problem. a lot of uh, lesson to study. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe I, letter B. I think I don't know. Letter B. Yes, ma'am. Okay, look for it and then tell me, okay? So we can continue with the reading part. Yeah, yeah. Cuando lo encuentre, me dice. Yeah, teacher. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Um, okay, remember, because the, I understand because the platform, sometimes it was yeah. working and sometimes it wasn't. Okay, um, let's do this reading, but let's look at the questions. It says, how yes. did the teens respond to the neighbor's request? What happened as the tree was being chopped down? What is the problem with the dogs? What was yeah. Sally's advice? Little B. Okay. Okay, so let's let's listen to those so we can um let's do that reading part. <laughs> Okay, um, Gabriela, can you do the first paragraph, please? Uh, we live in neighborhood where in everyone... In a neighborhood. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. We live in a neighborhood. We live in a neighborhood where everyone knows each other and we all get along pretty well. However, a new family recently moved in, and now we have some problems. Okay, do you have questions? No. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay, um, let me see. Luis, can you do the second paragraph, please? The family's two teenagers play their music really loudly. When we politely ask, would you mind turning the music down? They just look at us. Okay, can, can you continue, please? Next, uh, the family destroy a beautiful tree. I hate to see them cutting, cutting it down. I ran out and shoot it. Could you please leave the tree alone? But they chop it, chop it down anyway. Okay, do you understand that? Uh, it's playing a chopper, chopping yes. down. 
A tree, okay, good, thank you. A tree, you don't cut, you chop a tree. Shutting, what is shutting? Shutting? Okay, um, I'm sorry, hold on. Yeah, I will do that. Uh, Lewis. Yeah? Um, a tree, you don't cut. A tree, ah, okay. you okay. chop. Chop, okay. Derramarlo, right? Eh? Chip it in. The whole yeah. Way. Yeah. Chop. Okay. Chop. Yeah, cut. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hate to see them put it, put it, put it down the same. Chop it yeah. down. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's chopping okay. it down. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, Leah. What was your question? No, I I think that I understand. Uh -huh. I ran I ran out and showed him. I understand that if he he go to look. Mm -hmm. See. Yes. Yeah, you ran out. Hey, stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Good. Thank you. Um, Edwin, can you finish it, please? Of course. Um, they also have dogs that bark loudly all day. We we say many times, please keep your dogs inside at night so we can get some some sleep. But they don't want they don't want to do it. We don't know what what to do anymore. How can we all get along? Yeah, the typical neighbors. Remember we were talking about bad neighbors last time? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's see. How, number one, how did teens respond to the neighbor's request? Jocelyn, it's Sophia. Hi. Um, the neighbor's request. You didn't say anything. I have to, to read. The these three answers. We or we already read. Are you kidding? Okay. Um, they didn't say anything. Good. Oh, oh, okay. I understand. You have to read the answer. Yes. Oh, I, I thought I thought you told me you have to read the story again. No. no, the the three answers. Yeah. No, no, no. Just the correct one. Thank you. So they didn't say anything. Very good. Um, Irene, can you do number two, please? What happened as the three, uh, as the tree was being chopped down? Okay. The new family continued to cut it down. Okay. Yes, chop it down, not cut it down. Uh, Evelyn Beltran, what is the problem with the dogs? They are outside. They, they are outside working all the time. Okay. All right, they are outside barking all the time. Very good. What was Sally's advice, Gabriela? Police is only problem. And the police is solved. Let the police solve the problems. Yes. Here, a good salvadoreño, the advice would be, póngale chispa del diablo a los perros. <laughs> Kill the dogs. But don't. All right, good. Well, that, that's not for... For no, it's dogs. not. No, because it's not the dog's fault. No. It's people who are idiots, not the dogs. Correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, okay, now we have um, here matching. Match the phrases with the most appropriate information. Okay, uh, let me see here. Leah, before Hello? a young man and a woman speak, 
They often meeting meet in the public place. Okay. Place. All right, thank you. Let me see. Blanca, can yes. you do number two, please? Before they meet for the first time. Um, before they meet for uh, the first time. Before number number two. Yes, number two, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, days sometimes arrange another date. No. Uh, I usually talk to the night. Public place. Uh, they often meet in a public place such as a coffee shop. Listen, before they meet for the first time, they so this is the first the time they are going to see each other. Meet, internet. Teacher, what yes. is this? They, 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 they usually talk in the Internet teacher. They okay. might chat. Yeah, they might chat. Okay. Oh, they might they chat. They might chat with age other other on the internet. internet. Yeah, like on Facebook, like hi, hi, how are you? Wow, you're yeah. pretty. Oh wow, blah 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 blah. Hey, um, let's see each other. Lee, I'm sorry, yeah. what was your question? No, I I I investigate. Thank you. <laughs> You said date, correct? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Date. How do you pronounce it? Date. -E -A. Sorry? Date. Date. What is date? Date with T. Es que no dice date. Dice before T or how do you pronounce T? -E oh, oh, I'm sorry. Está mal escrito. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. Ah, It's a mistake. Yes. Before day, date. Meet. For the day. Yeah, before they meet. When they have yeah. their first days. Okay. Okay. When they have. Okay. Um, Irene, what is number three, please? When they have their first date, mm, okay. they sometimes sometimes arrange another date. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Depending if the date was good, yeah, they arrange another date. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> cool. If the date is bad, then. Yeah, um, after they meet for the first time. Yeah, it, I, I, I know what I'm saying. It could be they often meet in a public it's place. Yeah, uh, when they have first thing, a coffee. Mm. That's true. That one's true too. So then, what is number one? They usually speak on the on the talk on the. They usually, uh huh, talk on the. This is the number one. Yeah, before a young man and woman speak, they usually talk on the phone. Usually, yes. True. After they meet for the first time, what happens? After they meet on time. Mm. They often meet, in a public place. No, that they would be. They a ranch. No. They sometimes arrange another date after the. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Before they meet for the first day in the pasado. Only interchange. Let's do this. 
So before a young a man and a woman speak, they might chat with each other on the internet. Okay, now it's logical. Before they meet for the first time, they usually talk on the phone. You see? Bingo. We're good. Let me see next. Okay, in this class, in, in lesson point four, 4.0, 4 in this class, you will be exposed to audio where examples of past, present, and future are used. So please, let's listen to the past, present, and future. How do you say se peinó? <laughs> she combed her hair. She combed her hair. Come on. Let me see. Okay, I'm sorry, hold on, I'm loading this again. Okay, let's see if we can do it now. Did this already? Oh, my God, come on. All right, let's do it. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. 
Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Hi, did you more or less, did you understand the tenses? Okay, then I will continue, I guess it's yes. Hello everyone, before you, you watch the video. Yes. yes, we can okay. hear you sure. well. We okay. Can. Yes. okay, here's the second video then. We want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, People might buy groceries by computer. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago or people used to or 50 years ago and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present and here we use these days, today or nowadays and of course our verbs are is growing, shop and drive which are in the present. Last but not least we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years next in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay, let's do one thing ourselves. Um, Gabriela, can you please the, the topic, the tema topic, is going to be children. So you tell me children back then, children now, and in the future, children will. Um, maybe 20 years ago, children... Um, were play in the street. used to play used to play in the street uh, and they know each other in the neighborhood okay um this day now now uh children uh, don't know uh, their neighbors and they don't play in the street. And they don't play in the street. Mm -hmm. In the future, um, mm, maybe 
the children will not play at all. <laughs> will not play at all. And maybe they will know other people by internet. Good. Good. Um, I remember. I remember in the past, children played in the street under the rain. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They played soccer under the rain. Now they get sick. Yes. That is, that is true. <laughs> uh, it's parents' fault because we are um, very sobreprotectores. Yes, we are too protective. Yes. Yes, it's true. Um, let me see. Marta, I haven't heard you today. Marta. Are you there, Martha? Okay, let me see. Edwin. Can you tell me telephones in the past, telephones in the present, and telephones in the future? Okay, uh, well, telephones, uh, they used to be big. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the, the, the first thing was the beeper. They, you just receive messages. And um, nowadays, uh, the technology, we have the best coding technology. Uh, and in the future could be more i think i i think so can be more than than now uh i don't know what what kind of more specific things are going to put to the to telephones in the future but but nowadays the technology is super nice i think in the future telephones are going to be holograms exactly now they, they nowadays there there are the iPhones or there are things that you that you just uh what was the word that you really say right now hologram hologram yes the, the you have to put the holograph in the walk and you can see a movie mm -hmm. yeah yeah the, I, I don't I don't know the technology now it's it's super nice <laughs> it's crazy oh, this, yeah, it's crazy, but everything's changed. Like, uh, like she says that now they will used to play in the street, and now children they don't want to go out and play soccer. They just want to be in the telephones or tablets or PlayStation or whatever, you know. And, and you I, know, I remember children back then when they played mm -hmm. video games. The mm -hmm. video games were like active, you know, like maybe soccer or fighting. And now the video games is like my, I have a niece. She is addicted to this game. Fortnite? No, it's not Fortnite. Where they, where you make your city. Uh, Call of Duty? No, 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 no. It's not Call of Duty. No, you make your city. You make your houses. Uh, but it's so boring because all you do is walk around the city and say, oh, I want to plant a tree. So you plant a tree. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and, and there's no interaction. I said that is so boring. Minecraft. Oh, uh, Minecraft. Yeah. And, and I said, man, really? You never played Mario Brothers? <laughs> Mario Brothers. Hmm. All right. Let me see. Oh, Jocelyn. Let's hear. Let's hear what Jocelyn says. Hello, Sophia. Hi. So, Sophia, you are 21 or 22, right? 21. Okay. You are a child. But yes. can you tell me something that you've seen the evolution of children? Can you tell me something children used to do before? What children do now and what they do and what they will do in the future? Well, I remember... Um... Children used to play outside with others, and it was you can hear la laughing and all that noise. <laughs> but 
but now children are just in cell phones and tablets, video games, TVs. And in the future, I think children will have psychological problems because they don't they don't socialize. Yeah. You know, you know what else has changed? Christmas. I remember before, maybe 20 years ago, not only in Christmas, the complete December. Remember all December, the complete month of December? Yes, I remember. Now you don't, you don't hear, which is good. I'm happy because I hate them. <laughs> I have cousins. They are small, but they um, give give you their cell phones or their tablets and says, look at my new game or do you want to play with me this game on my cell phone? That's a complete change. Yes, it's true. Okay, good. So then that's what happens um, in, the pre in the past, in the present, in the future, yes? I remember in the past, a pupusa was the equivalent. You could eat five pupusas with maybe one dollar. Now, you only eat one pupusa with one dollar because pupusas are between 50 and one dollar. I can't imagine the future. In the future, maybe, vamos a estar a nivel de Estados Unidos, de que allá las pupusas valen tres dólares, cuatro, ya casi. <laughs> okay, so let's do the next part. So then that, that's how you say um, futures. Before, back then, in the present, you say now, and in the future, you say a future word, in the future, next week, next month. Let me see knowledge check. Okay, tell me here, class. Before the automobile, Evelyn? Yes. Before the automobile, what did the people do? Let me check. Mm -hmm. um, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay, good. So before the automobile, people used to shop at the small stores. Pollution, most people are going to work late at home. People, people didn't, didn't travel, travel as travel much. much from city to city. Okay, good. Yeah, so people didn't travel very much from city to city before automobiles. And it's true because vieron la pandemia aquí. Remember when there was no public transportation? Yes. Nobody go out. People no travel. Yeah. Oh man, yo disfruté tanto eso en la pandemia. Es lo único que puedo disfrutar, decir que disfruté de que podía ir a cualquier mall en San Salvador and there, it was empty. Que estaba vacío. But all, all were closed. Well, yeah, but I'm saying like the supermarkets. And, and something, something that I really enjoy 
from the pandemic. No traffic. You can move, no traffic. You can move to place to place and you can, it was fast. Yes, I remember that. Like, mm -hmm. I live I live by uh, Paso del Jaguar and I, and I go to the supermarket in Cascadas or Multiplaza. Mm -hmm. I was there in three minutes or four minutes in car. <laughs> That's true. No cars, empty. The street was very empty. I enjoyed that. Okay, let's do number two. Before there was before there were supermarkets, what did people do? People used to shop at small stores. People used to shop at small stores. Saben de que hubo un pobre un pobre una pobre persona que no autenticó su idea y creo que hasta seis generaciones de su familia hubieran sido millonarios era el dueño de la tienda porque lo que dice aquí people used to shop in small stores entonces la gente iba a una mini tienda y a la una canastilla Y un señor tenía una mini tienda, pero un poquito más grande. Entonces él se dio cuenta y dijo, porque él miraba a la gente comprar. Y a veces ya, ya no cabía nada en la canastilla. Entonces él dijo, hmm, y si la hago más grande, la gente mete más cosas. Y así fue como él mandó a hacer los, las carretillas del súper. Entonces la gente cuando iba a su, era la única tienda que tenía carretillas. Pero lastimosamente él no lo patentó. Y miren la idea de él. Es lo primero que uno hace al entrar al súper. Yeah. Pobrecito. Porque él fue, fue tan inteligente empezar eso y fue tan bruto no, no pensar en lo otro. Hey, pero voy a patentar esto. Okay, next it says, about 500 years ago. What happened, what happened 500 years yeah. ago? Yeah. 500 years ago, what, what happened? People played the first game of golf. People played yes. the first game. People played the first game of golf. Golf is boring. Yes. It's not a sport. My husband, my my husband, yes. mm -hmm. love it. Really? Yes. Yo intentado, I try watching on ESPN and I say, okay, le voy a hacer un intento, like, and no, I don't understand it. <laughs> My husband is bolichista, boliche. Ah, pero boliche o golf? Yes, eh, boliche en eh, love, love golf too. That is interesting. So he's a golfer and he likes bowling. Yes, he loves all the, uh, the uh, sport, the, mm -hmm. the sports, 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 sports. Sport. Hey, interesting. Okay, uh, next it says number four. In most offices today, people work more than 40 hours a week. Yes. In most offices, in, except the government. Mm. Number five, in many cities nowadays, uh, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ya han ido a la Pampa Argentina en la Escalón, que está bien arriba. Mm -hmm. Sí. En el, en el día, ¿cómo se ve la polución? The pollution? Sí. Mm -hmm. Como you, you see San Salvador, like, it's ugly. Okay, next, soon, ¿qué es soon? Pronto. 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 Okay, so what is uh, soon what? They will 
probably be cities in a space. Yeah. Soon, most people, there will probably be cities in space. Mm, doc Hello. Doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Also, you know, the two, are, the two could be correct here. Mm -hmm. In the next hundred years, and that's what I'm going space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no option here. Okay, sometime, sometime in the future. There will, will probably be cities in space. Hmm. So let me see. There will be in the next hundred years. Maybe people work in the house. Most people are going to work at at home. Mm. Or maybe, or, or maybe in 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 soon if if people. Uh, and number six, right? It's okay. Number six, soon. Maybe in soon, if most, most people are most going people. to work at, at home. Yeah. Okay, so then in the next hundred years. Mm -hmm. and the number seven, doctors. Sometimes in the future. The, letter, uh, the number eight, sometimes in the future. There will probably be in the mm -hmm. space. Yeah. You know what? I don't like this one. Aunque salió buena, pero I don't like it. Esta. En los próximos 100 años, doctores van a encontrar la cura para el resfriado común. No hay cura ya, no. No, it, does, it doesn't exist because are so many types of... Different views. Mm -hmm. But is the common cold? Common, like a <coughs> chip. That's what I have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. I know I could have, so like, um, what's that, medicine? Treatments. Treatment. Treatments, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, class, have a very good Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very tomorrow. much. Have a good night. See you, teacher. Good night. Feel better, drink night. tea. You look, you look you. cansado. <laughs> Who, me? Yes, you look uh, cansado. Tired? Tired? I think I think I might or I will get sick. <laughs> because se lo, all, se lo pasé. <laughs> yes yeah because this part of my nose hurts Está doliendo. okay yeah. take care okay you too take care thank you very much have a great day thank you good night bye. see you bye bye